I'm gonna have to do eeny, meeny, miny, moe. No, I, can't can't I, I can't decide. <laughs> And number three is the Porsche. Number two, the Dragon. Number one is the Snake. The snake. Ma -ma -ma! This is the winner. This is the winner. Tell people what you picked again, just to remind them. I picked the green Shelby. Green Shelby Mustang, that's right. So you're gonna be getting involved in the nonprofit. You're gonna be helping us kind of promote the giveaway, kind of help teach people about the car. So can you tell people some of the best features about the car and what they're gonna love about it? Well, there's eight cylinders and there's a lot of horsepower. Yep. And some people might like that. And I, I think a lot of people like that. What was the specific scene that you asked to do? A, a race car theme scene. A race, a race against what though? Jeff. Jeff, yeah. So he wants to race his friend Jeff, who has a super cool sports car also. And we'll see who wins, I guess. Stay tuned. We're going to be off and away here to go pick it up shortly and check out all the action and get our first ride in the Shelby Mustang. And then it's going to be lots of work to get it promoted and get it ready for the fundraiser. All right, Luke, you ready to rock? Yeah. Let's do this. Luke, I have a very important question for you. What? What do you need? What is your favorite color? Uh, light green and any type of green and camo. How do you think we know that? Because I picked out a green car. And everything you're wearing is green. You are the green machine, my man. How fast can it go? Would you believe me if this car if I told you this car could drive yes. 220 miles an hour. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Holy Good. moly, buddy. 760 horsepower in this bad boy. Good. Okay. It's an emotional day for me in getting to go do this for him because in doing this process with him, I've gotten to see the excitement that he has had for cars and his love of all things that move fast. And he's such a 10 year old boy in that way. And it's so amazing to see, but it's really hard to process knowing that even as he sits right now, his vision is 2050. He has visual field defects. He would not legally be allowed to drive even now at this current age, barring any further vision loss that he may have. So knowing that that's his future and knowing that that could be his reality, that he could never even drive one of these uh, cars and be involved in vehicles the way he's he gets so excited about is so challenging to process. and. It makes it an emotional day and it makes it a very motivating day because all the work that we're putting in is for that effort to save his eyesight. And it's really possible that we could do it. It's a real clinical trial that has real potential and we could totally do this, but the money is not there yet. And that's why we are getting aggressive with these fundraisers. We are going to be doubling down on all these efforts to do all this. We aren't gonna give up until we're successful. So it's just gonna have to, it's just gonna have to happen. There's no way around it. it. Yeah, it's just an emotional day getting ready to go do this, but I'm gonna keep it fun and positive. And I can't wait to see his face when he finally gets to hop in it and drive away. So that's what we're gonna focus on today is the fun and the excitement but it is hard and those moments are very challenging to keep under control as a parent watching all this happen so carol shelby has since passed but he has left a legacy uh, for the shelby brand that uh, we definitely enjoy and we know that a lot of individuals uh, in our community <laughs> and people that come here and purchase cars also love them so they're very very special cars and uh, have been around for quite some time cool one. You, 
excited? Mm -hmm. It was amazing. What do you love about it, dude? It's so fast. Yeah, does the engine sound super cool too? Yeah. 